Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial how to create and use Power BI QA component. It is also called as the natural language processing component because you can, un you can enter any question in a normal English language and get the answer uh, an output in the form of the value which you are looking for. So we were going to see how we can create it. And just a quick information that all of this, this entire sheet is present in the description if you want to look at any previous videos that I have posted and their title and the link is present here. Along with that, what I'm posting is the another report, the Google Data Studio report, which is uh, helpful. If you want to search any other video other than Power BI, which I have posted on my channel, like related to the Ablu or the Click technology. All right, let's move on to creating the Power BI. QA component. All right, so here we are within the Power BI, and the QA component is present over here in this section. The QA. All right, if I just expand this, so here it is telling you that ask a question about your data. Try one of these to get started. What is the profit ratio by customer name? So if you just click it over here, and press enter you will see this is by customer name this is the profit ratio so what it is doing is based on the field based on the information present here in the fields it is picking up the values and displaying you the output similarly we can we can ask what is the what is sales by product category so so this is the product category. So if we choose the product category, this is the product category. If we just remove that, it will give us the uh, suggestions here. What is the sales by product subcategory? So this is the sales by the product subcategory. Let's try and see what is the sales by product subcategory and um, so we see with and is, is what you are getting is the customer name and we can see region for example what is the subcategory so this is showing you for each of the product subcategory and each of the region now the chart has become really busy after we have adding that so what we can remove is uh, product subcategory and uh, what we have is the order priority i think that should be a good one order priority yeah there you go and once you do that you get the order priority where medium priority is something in office machine you are seeing a lot in tables you have the high priority orders in binders and accessories you have a lot of high priority orders so this is a sort of the in the output that you can get with the help of this simple natural language processing which is being given to you for, for the purpose of producing the visualization. Now here is the visualization, but if you see what is total sales. So total sales is 14.9 million, which is form of a KPI, which you can, uh, you can get. Or what is the total profit by customer segment? So you will get the profit by the customer segment. All right, apart from this, what you have is this. Let's say uh, you want to turn this Q&A result into a standard visual, then you can click it over here and it will be the horizontal bar chart for you. Also, if you want to go in depth into the Q&A from the perspective of teaching the Q&A to understand people better, you can just click it over here. Here, some uh, resources being given like uh, field synonym, or review questions, suggest question, teach Q and A. Apart from this, for each of this section, which is present here, the subsection to go into it, and you can basically see, go a little bit more in depth as to what is what is really going on. Um, you can have even the review question. Uh, so this for this you need to sign in. So I'll just move on to teach Q and A, and this is where you know again you can enter the question. If this is mostly from teaching the Q&A perspective, if you want to teach to, to your end users. But then apart from this, manage terms, if, if you want to manage any term, but again, you need to 
uh, you need to be part of the licensing if to use this and then you have like the suggest questions so you need to enter a suggest question about your data using everyday language so this is again similar to the uh, front end which we were doing like asking a question about your data so a, a little bit support is being given if you go into the settings over here so apart from this you have this suggestion enable or disable if you don't want your user to get the suggestion uh, which i don't know why you don't want that but in case uh, since the option is given you can disable it also a couple of settings that you can do is like what should be our background color what should be the question front end color the size and the question family accepted underline color so and so forth related to the question that you are asking also on the suggestion piece few of the settings like uh, formatting of the uh, suggestion let's say if, if you are not really uh, very much impressed by uh, what is by default setting is by power bi then you can choose your own setting but this is an amazing filter or the sorry the amazing component which you have especially for those who do not have a lot of idea or uh, as to what they want to see based on the situation they just want to make sure that your visualization or your there should be a, some space within your dashboard where they can choose what however they want to enter like a normal english language and i think with little bit of guidance they should be able to do it very easily so that's very quickly about uh, the q and a component or the natural language processing component which you have within the power bi for producing the visuals